Controversy in the classroom. The decision that cost one Parkway substitute teacher his job. Beautiful sky over in O'Fallon, Illinois this morning. Just a couple of clouds here and there and the warm up is underway. An alarming incident at a Manchester elementary school. The man facing charges after a weapon was discovered on campus. Today in St. Louis, weekend edition starts right now. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. Are you up? Are you up? We sure are here at Five on Your Side. Yeah. You're taking a live look inside Bush Stadium. Say it with me. Bush. Bush. <laughs> Where in the last half hour, runners took their first strides in this year's Cardinals 5K. This is a great shot from Stephen Turner, our photojournalist out there. They're doing it all for the kids this morning. Yes. We'll have more details on that in just a little bit. But first, top of the morning to you. It is Saturday, April 13th. I'm Travis Cummings. And I'm Mercedes McKay. Thanks so much for waking up with us yeah. on this Saturday. And it is a beautiful day for it a 5K. It really and is. to get outside and to tell us all about it, we have Chief Meteorologist Scott Connor with us. Yeah, you know, it is going to be a nice day. Temperatures yeah. this morning, nice and comfortable. Yeah. We're a little on the cool side, some of the outlying areas. But now that the sun's coming up, Boy, that temperature is starting to warm and it is going to jump by leaps and bounds today because we have plenty of sunshine on the way and we're going to be about 35, 40 degrees warmer in a lot of spots later on this afternoon than where we were earlier this morning. That's a look out in St. Charles right now with our weather camera looking towards the west. And it looks like they're making some additional progress on that Zumbel ramp. We have thoughts, but we won't go there right now. In St. Louis, <laughs> we are talking about a temperature this hour of 58 degrees. The winds are still fairly calm, but they're going to pick up. You've seen temperatures come out of the 40s this morning, even a few spots in the upper 30s, bouncing back into the 50s, already 60 in Berkeley, pushing it into the 70s here by lunchtime. Lower 80s through the afternoon. The breeze does pick up this afternoon. Not quite as gusty as the last couple of days, but we'll still have that breeze to deal with. Quiet evening across the area. We'll see in a few minutes. We'll be tracking the next weather system that comes in as we start a new week. Could bring us some severe weather along about Tuesday. More on that, Travis, in a few minutes. All right, Scott, thank you for that first look. Well, this morning, a West County substitute teacher is out of a job after a controversial situation at Parkway Central. It all started when he showed up to class to find a Black Lives Matter and a gay pride sign. Our Brent Solomon spoke with the sub, who's defending his actions. When Jason Jennings reported to Parkway Central High last week, he arrived to his classroom and saw two paper signs, one of them representing Black Lives Matter, the other a rainbow. I decided to take those down and tear them up. He posted these images on Twitter, saying, quote, this is what needs to happen when teachers insist on grooming kids. He refers to Black Lives Matter as a hate group. Adults are, you know, can, can do what they want in their own lives, have their own convictions, their own beliefs. But when it comes into being in the classroom, it just should not be, it's, it's not something that should be in front of kids. Someone who appears to be the teacher he was filling in for fired back, saying, quote, those were my signs. How dare you? You will not sub in my room again. What you're doing is creating a safe space for that student to know just be yourself in this classroom. Jordan Braxton with Pride St. Louis believes both signs served an appropriate purpose. Black Lives Matter is an organization and a movement that um, fights social injustice and inequalities about the black community. And what the Pride flag stands for is that we are a community that is accepting and inclusive. The company that hires substitutes for Parkway Central said it is, quote, deeply troubled by the reports of inappropriate behavior involving our employee. Our top priority is to protect the safety and well-being of the students we serve. And we do not tolerate employee behavior that violates our policies or the policies of our school partners. Jennings tells me the school principal approached him Friday. Very respectfully and, and just looked at me and said, hey, I need, I need you to grab your stuff and come with me. And I was like, I, I, honestly, I was kind of shocked. I didn't know what it was about. I got in my car and left. Brent Solomon, five on your side. Jennings is currently running for state office, and one administrator says he was soliciting votes from students during school. Jennings, however, denies this. 
And sticking to your schools this morning, right now, Wentzville's Board of Education is searching for a new superintendent. Dr. Danielle Tormala announced she'll be retiring at the end of the school year. She first stepped into the position two years ago and did not give a reason for her sudden departure. The district has seen some political controversies in recent years, which may be to blame. All of these sort of culture war issues culminating in the school districts. We see um, not only do parents care about these things, but those concerns and fears are being stoked by politicians. And then they bring their political issues into school districts. That can really exacerbate the issues for the superintendents and the teachers. The district says in the meantime, its deputy superintendent will step up to help. This morning, a man is in custody after teachers found a weapon in a West County school. It happened at Hannah Woods Elementary here in Manchester. Now, the child who had a gun in his backpack says it was an accident. Investigators say the student's father, Tony Fisher, admitted to putting the gun in the bag last night and leaving it there by mistake. Police took him into child. It, police took him into custody on child endangerment charges. This morning, the St. Louis Family Court and Metro Police are investigating after several teens held the juvenile detention center were hospitalized. It happened last weekend at the facility on Enright Avenue. Officials say the teens appeared to be quote under the influence of substances and quote. They did not say what the substance was or how the teens got them or how many went to the hospital even. They were later returned to the center.